Hey, man, I'm Jessica from ProudMoney.com. Is auto paying your credit card bills for suckers? A Wall Street Journal article that came out in the last week or so suggests that that might be the case, although they most definitely did not use the word suckers in any part of the article. The article was actually titled, what was it titled? Auto pay is making us worse at managing credit card bills. And then a second little title, set it and forget it approach can lead to paying more in interest charges. Charges. Now, the premise of the article is this. People that use auto pay for their credit card bills do avoid late fees, but they pay 8 to 17 percent less when they are making those auto payments than people that pay manually. So the idea is that, okay, fine, you are avoiding late fees and you're avoiding delinquencies, but you're actually paying more in interest charges, which offsets the late fees that you potentially would have been paying if you had been paying manually. So if you think auto pay is going to stop you from having to pay any of those late fees, you might end up paying more in interest charges. Now, I know you, you say, well, I set up auto pay and I pay in full every time. I don't just make the minimum payment, but there is a study cited in the Wall Street Journal article that says when people set up auto pay, oftentimes they will set it up either as minimum payment or pay in full, but the people that set it up as pay in full are much more likely to change that within the first 10 months after they set up auto pay than the people that start at minimum payment who rarely change it from minimum payments. So oftentimes people are putting in pay in full to begin with, with all the best of intentions, but within a year they are deciding that, well, maybe I can't pay in full, and then they are going down to the minimum payment. On the other hand, if you are someone that has had past credit problems in particular, you should know that the banks really like it if you go on auto pay because they see from all their statistics that being on auto pay makes you half the risk of someone that pays those bills manually if you have the same uh, essentially credit profile. So if your credit score is essentially the same as somebody else's, but you are on auto pay, you are half the risk of that that person that is not on auto pay. So if you are someone that is thinking that you know you want to make sure that you don't get your uh, credit limits cut or you don't want to have your uh, card shut down or whatever, especially if you have some shakier credit, well then being on auto pay makes a lot of sense for you. And then you should also know that once you are on auto pay, if you are carrying a balance from month to month and you go off of auto pay, that is seen as a red flag by the credit card companies because you were on auto pay, now you've gone off of it, you still have a balance. That's often what happens before someone goes delinquent, before they start getting late on their credit card bills. So that is often the time that you're gonna find trouble if you started on auto pay and you went off. There is a uh, quote in the article from um, somebody from Synchrony Bank, a head of risk or something like that, who says that he wishes 100% of people were on auto pay because it's much better for the banks. And I guess in some ways it's potentially better for you as well. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of auto pay, but not necessarily for the reasons that they talk about in the article. Number one, I don't really like auto pay because I don't like uh, companies pulling directly from my checking account because it means that I have sort of a pot of money in there, but some of it could just disappear without me really knowing beforehand that it's about to go away. And I don't like to keep too much money in my checking account. I'd rather keep it somewhere else where maybe it's earning a little bit more and then pull from somewhere else if I have to to, but when I am doing a manual bill pay, well, then I know exactly when I'm about to pay that bill and when that money should come in. If somebody is just pulling it, especially if multiple uh, companies are pulling money out of my account through auto pay, well, that means I got to keep more in there to make sure that I'm never going to have insufficient funds when they go to do it. Now, then number two, I just think that auto pay makes it less likely that you will pay attention to the details of your finances. When the money is being pulled out of your account, you might look at it and be like, yeah, okay, that number looks like about what I expected it to be, but you're not gonna look closely necessarily at the individual credit card charges to see if there's anything that is wrong. And then maybe you're not gonna look at things like, you know, subscriptions that have been going for a while where you might look at them and say, do I really need that anymore? You know, I started it 10 months ago or whatever, whether it's a uh, streaming service or a gym membership or some other publication or whatever that's charging you month after month, if you're sort of like 
auto pay and not really looking at what is going on there, then you're never going to really look at that stuff closely and say, I don't need this anymore and get rid of it. You're just going to be like, all right, that number is about what I thought it was going to be. And you're just going to keep that stuff going forever. So I like to take a specific closer look at my finances every time when I get those credit card bills to look for errors, but then to also look for stuff that I maybe want to get rid of, or maybe just once in a while to look at and be like, oh, look at all this money I'm spending on stuff that I really didn't need all that much of. I gotta tighten up a little bit here. So how about you? Do you use auto pay? Do you think it is the way to go? Or maybe do you use some combination of auto pay and manual payments? How do you handle all this stuff? And do you feel like it has been good for your finances? Or do you sometimes question whether you should go back to manual payments altogether? We'd love to hear all about it in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not gonna leave a comment or go to the website, the next thing that you might wanna do is watch this video.